Hello and welcome to your over enthusiastic game guide. I'm Sarah Dan and this guide should hopefully help you on your journey to get the time lost proto drake and show you that he is not as lost as people may think in Warlord of Drainer, just misguided somewhat. Okay, so being here, you most probably already know that the Time Lost Proto Drake is a level 80 rare release and drops the reins of the Time Lost Proto Drake. Much like the names, the models are pretty much the same, but you've got a pretty little purple saddle on the mount. So all across Storm Peaks, the Time Lost Proto Drake has four spawn points it can spawn at, and these points are rather distant from one another. But all these points are accessible to get a King Blow upon a spawn because this NPC spawns halfway out of the mountains. And what you're seeing now is a vague idea as to where he may pop out from at each of his points. Hello. Hello. However, if there is no one there to give him a good slap at the time he spawns, then he will continue to fly his set Hello. flight routes. And as with there being four spawn points, there are also four different flight paths you may take, some being more longer, more of a vast route, and some being more of a lazy route. But as it stands at the moment, if no one kills him by the time he does two laps of one of his routes, or one lap of the bigger routes, he will just spawn to everyone's delight, and thus the search goes on. Now if you haven't already guessed from the name of this NPC, this fellow is rather hard to come across because much like other super rares, he also shares a spawn timer, spawn points, flight paths with his good friend Viragosa, another level 80 rare elite. But how these rares work is that if another rare across Northrend is killed and upon its corpse to despawn, then a new rare will pop up somewhere in Northrend, and this could be Viragosa. And if it is, then there is a 1 in 7 chance of it being the Timeless Prototrake. So it is possible to have two Viragosa Timeless Prototrake spawns in a row. <laughs> yeah, right. So what you could do to decrease the time you have to wait for the Time Lost Proto Drake is to have one of your willing friends to go round Northrend and kill a few rares for you. And hopefully the Time Lost Proto Drake will replace this NPC as soon as its corpse despawns. Okay, so there are two ways you could camp the Time Lost Proto Drake. First one, you can be sitting at a point with your cursor hovering over the spawn point and wait for the drums to sound off using NPC scanner. But the downfall with this is that it could have spawned at a different location and flown past you without your cursor going over it to notify you. And that would be an awful feeling. Or you could just sit at a point and spam a macro to target the NPC, so you could pick it up when it's far in the distance and or behind you. So, let's start my journey here. So the way I decided to camp this NPC is I used a macro, and this macro targets a specific NPC and plays a sound to let you know it is near, as well as showing you a pointer on your minimap to let you know which direction it's coming from. But after my little Viragosa instant, I decided to change my macro so that I would get dismounted and cast an instant spell on my target when I pick one up, because you wouldn't want to lose that time lost proto drake kill to someone who cannot camp at a different spawn point, even if you are the first one there. You can find the macros in the description if you wish to use them yourself. Copy and paste them. However, if you are the one to be looking for a point to camp at, show some respect and camp at a different point if there are other people covering that specific point. Don't be a stacker. Because there is an even chance it could spawn at any of the four points. You could even group up with other people to cover more points, so that if there is a spawn, someone will see it and you'll be kept in the know. But uh, hopefully you get it first, of course. But if you are on your own, don't make the mistake of running the macro that dismounts you, because there is no competition. But there is also a chance it may be flying from another spawn point, and you are not in range to be able to cast a spell. But you are in range to be able to target it, thus dismounting you. If this is the miracle and he is flying in the distance, you want to be able to kill him as fast as you can before it travels any further. You could either cast a spell then float to the ground using another spell, or a potion that decreases your falling speed, much like a snowfall lago which is also acquired in storm peaks. Not many people attempt a suicide kill, just in case they miss, <laughs> yikes. Or you can fly straight into it and get aggro and slowly move downwards for you to get your kill because even still at level 100, you can get aggro just by stacking on top of him. You, you can be a stacker at this point. 
As much as it pains me to say, especially if you've been camping for weeks, my journey was a very swift one for this rare. This is one of the shortest waits I've had to endure. So much so, he caught me off guard and the recording is somewhat bumpy in places, so do excuse my actions. Hopefully when he spawns for you, you'll be more relaxed than I was. But enough of excuses, let's kick this off.